This fridge is over 20 years old and my wife finally talked me into getting a fridge that has water and an ice maker. So I'm going to show you how to install and run a water line to your fridge. The first step is to remove the ceiling tiles to locate the cold water pipe. To determine which is the hot and which is the cold, run your hot water for a while, then your cold water for a while, and then feel the pipes to see which is which. So you can tell that this one is hot and this one is cold. And I'm going to move out this ceiling tile where I think it's going to go through. Now I'm going to move the fridge out and drill the hole for the pipe. You're going to want to put the hole in the corner so that the water line doesn't sink. So this piece is going to wrap around the pipe and then when you twist it, it is going to puncture the pipe allowing water to go in. So we're going to unscrew this so that the point is not poking out and undo one of the screws so we can get it around the pipe. Make sure that the black rubber piece is arched with the metal and then you're going to put it on top of the pipe and place the other screw on there. You can use a wrench with your screwdriver bit to make sure it's very tight. Now we're going to run the water line through the floor. Now I'm going to pull it all the way over to where the valve is. Now you're going to take off this nut. and put the insert inside the tube. Then twist the nut onto the valve. You're going to want to make sure it's tight, but don't over tighten it. Now we're going to nail in some of these clips to hold the water line in place. Now I'm going to move the old fridge back in place till the new one gets delivered tomorrow. The nice thing about Minnesota is that we can put everything outside and it'll still stay cool. I'm going to cut this line about 8 feet long to give it plenty of space so that if we need to move the fridge out there will be enough line. Most kits come with a coupling and I'm just going to take one of the nuts and the metal inserts out of that to use. So you can take off the cover, put the water line through the nut, put the metal insert into the water line. This is a compression fit so make sure to tighten it really tight. I'm going to tape the line on the back of the fridge just so it's out of the way. Before you turn the fridge on, make sure to flip this up to turn the ice maker off. Now we're going to install the filter. Open up the filter compartment, twist the bypass cap counterclockwise to take it off, take off the foil from the filter, then twist the filter clockwise to get it to go in. Shut the compartment. Now I'm going to twist the valve to puncture the pipe to allow water to go into the line to the fridge. We got it twisted all the way and it looks like there does not appear to be any leaking happening. Now I'm going to untwist it to allow the water to come out into the line and to the fridge. Oh, whoops, that's not good. And this is a compression fit, so make sure that you get it really nice and tight with a wrench, or later when you open up the valve, you will have it spraying all over the place. Looks like we do not have any leaks here. Now you're going to want to run a couple of gallons of water through this to make sure that everything is all clean. Now you can turn the ice maker to on by flipping the lever back down. Now we can move it back into place, put the food back in the fridge, and then enjoy a nice cup of ice water.
Make sure to subscribe and watch more Minnesota Cold and how-to videos of ours.